No, she can't be so so. On this episode of Meaning Behind the Music. Why she acting like Shoni don't know though? When she come around, no, she can't be so so. I call the shots, no, I'm not talking photos. Why she acting like Shoni don't know though? For the cover art of this song, I referenced a Rick Ross album, Mastermind, and the artist behind that piece was Brainwash. Combining my inspiration from the Mona Lisa with his style, we went ahead and we, we made that great cover that you see today that has a lot of abstract elements, yet still has that pop culture, but is, is very hip hop in that regard, considering Conundrum Records, we represent the fine art of hip hop. She come around, no she can't be so so I call the shots, no I'm not talking photos Why she acting like shorty don't know though? For the chorus of this song and, and in general I didn't want it to just be about a female I wanted it to be about a double entendre About, it could be about something that you really want Your, your main focus, but it, most people are going to take it as as I'm referencing a female and in that regard I didn't want it to be about looks or the vanity sense of beauty I want it to be about personality and it's intelligence that establishes true beauty and that's what I try to represent with the lyrics and in saying she can't be so so that's what I'm saying ideally my significant other would be intelligent caring compassionate Beautiful on the inside and out. Yo could care less if she know though. I had a friend before, but she don't know though. Why the opposition always a no show? Yo, why do I ask when I really know though? Out the mud, so you know I ride solo. And my yeah, yo, day county that you know though. Yeah, bro, that's why I think she's so so. Keep that on the low low. When a person is being true to themselves, they're being their authentic self. That allows them to see what they really enjoy and also what they don't like. And in doing so, you start to not care what other people think because you know you you know yourself. Okay, this is my this is my authentic self. I don't I don't like going to loud parties all the time. You know what bothers me? I'm gonna just stay in. I don't care if my friends make fun of me. You know, and that mentality. I got from hip hop, but also too, many people in Miami, Florida have that mentality of, you know, I'm gonna focus on myself, I'm gonna do what I gotta do. A lot of times this is a culture, because Miami's a melding of a lot of different cultures. So in that, you know, you have maybe someone from Nicaragua that would say, you know, this is my food, this is this is my, my team, this is what we do, this is these are my rituals, you know, and we're gonna we're gonna stay true to our tradition. And we, we kind of don't care what anybody else does. I think it could be partially from that. But regardless, that's definitely almost a trademark of Miami. And I really showed that in my lyrics. And I, and I wanted to represent on this song, considering that, you know, considering that inspiration. And I, I let it be known that I'm from Dade County. You should already know. Born and raised. Shout out West Kendall. You already know. I tie it all in at the end. And I... I explained like this is why 305 Dade County this is why it can't be so so it's got to be the best we're around the best in college football we were the best we dominated for years we have some of the most beautiful women that have ever existed gorgeous cars foreign exotic estates some of the most gorgeous landscapes you ever you ever see some of the best experiences you ever have so that's not so so Miami's not so so and that's what we're about. Why she acting like Shorty don't know though? When she come around, no she. This has been meaning behind the music. So so. Talking photos. Why she acting like Shorty don't know though?